Hi, welcome to the last of our financial math classes. We're talking about, we've so far talked about if you put money in the bank and you just leave it alone and let it accrue interest, how, how what will happen to it over time. We've talked about what happens if you are adding money in all the time and that formula can also be used if you start with a negative amount of money and you're working your way out of debt or you start with a positive amount of money and you're subtracting money from that on a regular basis. We've talked about how to calculate what your payments are going to be if you want to pay off a debt like a car loan in a set amount of time, five years versus four years. Today we're going to talk about calculating the time to pay off a loan. And the formula is why the number of years is the logarithm of P over RA plus P divided by N times the log of 1 plus R. And just as before, A is the um, initial debt, the initial debt, and this is a negative number. That's important. The formula will not work if you put in a positive number. You also have P is the regular payments. These are going to be positive numbers. You are trying to pay off the debt, pay off a negative amount of money by making positive payments. N is the number of times a year. Usually we pay off debts monthly, but if you wanted to try to pay something off with, with, monthly, with daily payments or weekly payments, you could do that. And again, some people are, are having some trouble with this still. R is the APR, uh, written as a decimal, divided by N. We usually divide by 12. We don't always divide by 12. This is the formula. If you multiply both sides by N, you will get N times Y is the log of P over RA plus P divided by just the log of 1 plus R. And N times Y is the total number of payments. You know, if you pay if you pay off a debt in five years with monthly payments, that's five times 12, 60 payments. So usually we're figuring out why, although in a lot of cases, you kind of want to know how many payments it's going to take you. So n times y is another way. A lot of people forget to divide that by that n there. Uh, a lot of people are still having trouble with calculators. If I were to work this out, I would, what would I do? I guess I would, I would personally say, um, I would type in the APR as a decimal, and then I would say divided by N, and then I would say times A, which is a negative number, plus P, and then I would hit the equals button, and that would give me this part, that would give me this part down there. Then, the way I work, why is my computer so slow right now? I would hit one over X, and put it in the denominator, and then I would type in times P equals, and that would give me this whole thing. And then I would hit the log button, and that would give me the whole numerator. And then I would hit divided by parentheses, and then I would type in the APR, and then divided by, and then N, and then I would say plus one, close parenthesis, and that would give me this whole thing, and then I would type log, and then equals, and I would have done the entire calculation in one go. This is with the cheap calculator method. If I had a nice expensive calculator, oh, 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 oh. Then equals, I forgot to divide by n. If I'm using this formula, I would then have to do divided by n to get that. This is distracting me. I'm going to make this go away. If you have an expensive calculator, if you have the kind of calculator that when you hit log, it shows you log. If I had an expensive calculator and I was doing this formula, I would hit the log button and it will show you log on the screen with that first parenthesis. 
and then I would type in P divided by opening parenthesis, and then I would do APR divided by N times A, N and A are the numbers, plus P close parentheses equals, and that will give you the entire numerator. You could write that down. You could also just leave that on the screen and hit divided by n equals, and that will evaluate this top just divided by the n. And then we also want to divide by the log of 1 plus r, so you would type in divided by log, and when you do that, it's going to wait until you finish telling it what the log is to, t to divide, which is what you want. And then I would do the R first. I would do APR divided by N plus 1, close parentheses, and then equals, and you will get the whole answer. And because this fancy calculator shows you what's going on on the screen, you will see something that looks remarkably like that appear on the screen as you go along. You could do this in bits, but I will show some examples.